All right, I see something up here that's worth taking a closer look at. Look at these dancers. Look at that log cabin teapot. Let's take a closer look at that. That's it, last chance in the wood section. What are you? Oh my gosh, that is an elephant. Okay, we're trying Goodwill number two. A nice little blue vase. It has an interesting little extra design to it. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Henderson, Nevada. Uh, my previous Goodwill adventure was in Henderson, Nevada. This is another Goodwill in Henderson that I have not been to for a very long time. And I used to come here quite often. This used to be my home base. I used to live right around the corner from here. So it's going to be kind of fun to get in here and see if the store has changed at all. And also just find completely new stuff I haven't seen before because I haven't been here for so long. So let's get inside. Let's get shop done. All right, let's pick us a lucky cart. All right, I found a nice little seat cushion I'm gonna put on my chair at work. I actually really need that. Let's see if there's any cool furniture. Ooh, I like this, uh, I like this bench. It says outdoor lounge chair. That is not outdoor. That wouldn't last five seconds outdoor. It's a nice little end of the bed one though. But again, my dogs would have that in shambles in no time. Not torn up, just dirty. Because they would be laying on it all the time. All right, let's get over here and see what goodies we can find. Let's start. You know what? I don't ever do this, but I'm going to start. Just Let's just get this plastic section out of the way here right quick see if there's anything here there's no people in this section that was kind of a determining factor that's the thing about shopping on the weekends it's a little on the busy side i guess that's when everybody's shopping and it's about that time of night they should start bringing out new carts of stuff too so i'm hoping for that all right now we are over into some planters and vases it's got a nice look to it. It is not made very well though. It's a thin ceramic. Not gonna hold up. Oh, that's kind of a fun bottle brush cactus. I wish it was in better condition. It is not. Otherwise, I would have picked that up. Mm -hmm. Nothing exciting so far. Right now, all I got is a chair cushion. Oh, that's funny. He looks a little bit older, but I don't think he is. Now that I put my hands on him, like that's a lot of it. Sometimes something looks a certain way and then your hands are the determining factor. All right, I see something up here that's worth taking a closer look at. Look at these dancers. It's from Z Gallery. $5.99. Z Gallery is a very bougie home decor store and uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna grab that. What are these little guys? Look like something that is made in Portugal. Little hand-painted little fonts, almost like little holy water fonts. Kind of nice. Hmm. Oh, it's a seagull. It doesn't look like he, uh... oh yeah, there's a hole under there. He would have sat up like on a stick. I like him. I have another one that looks very, very similar. And now they can be friends. Let's see who these little girls are. Original Hummel. Manufacture Rodento Hummel. That's interesting. They're not original. I mean, original Hummel has a much different mark. 
That's interesting. They're newer, newer Hummel. That's an older piece, but not super exciting. Got a soapstone rabbit. It's $4.99. He's super, super heavy. That becomes a little problematic with the shipping versus the value of the item. Looking at this flying pig plates for decorative use only. Okay, somebody gave up a pig collection, it looks like. Hello, my name is Duncan, the animal planter. It's kind of fun. Made in China. Kind of a plain looking elephant. Goodness. Cute little piggy bag. Does look at the feet. I can see that there is some age to this. It's $2.99. It's not, I don't know. It's just not super exciting. I'm I'm trying, I'm trying to up my game. I'm trying to be a little pickier about what I put in the cart. Because I have plenty of that kind of stuff to sell already. And I'm not in need of any more. Look at that log cabin teapot. Let's take a closer look at that. It's a Gans, it is vintage, $5.99. I kind of like that. No chips, no damage. Let's pick that up. All right, let's look in the candle section. I've sold these before, these are Jeanette. Unfortunately, that one's super cracked. Da, 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 da. All right, nothing exciting there. All these Yankee Candle melt cups. How do you use those? They're in a plastic cup. I'm not quite sure how you use those. I know about melts, but normally it's like a little cube and you put the little cube in a warmer. So how do you use a melt that's in a plastic like that? It's a interesting base. I kind of kind of like the way it folds. I don't know why that's very appealing. A little rough on the edges though. All right we got a little end cap with baggies of stuff but nothing exciting here. All right the wood section was really good at my last store I went to so let's take a peek at this one. Oh man that's really scratched up. I know, it's just a little repro sign, but it's super cool. Shoe shine kit, maybe? Missing a drawer. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Little coconut bowls. What are you? Just a, just a box. Just a box. Okay, this wood section is not going to be as profitable as the last one that I shopped. Oh, I think I've actually sold this piece before. Faith, Hope, Love, $2.99. It was kind of like a dollar store thing. Got a kind of a laser cut grizzly bear thing. Hmm. This might be not very many things put in the cart. Kind of night. I do like, oh, darn it, they're coming apart. Never mind. I say, I like those little daisies, but they're coming apart. Oh, what are you? I know you came from Home Goods. Oh, they've got $12.99 on it. It's pretty cool. Oh, but it's broken. Okay. We'll leave that there. That's it, last chance in the wood section. What are you? Oh my gosh, that is an elephant. That's crazy. Wood beads. It's 
that's just weird enough to sell. Look at his little tusks. Oh my goodness. Do we need him for $5.99? I feel like we do. Okay, I am just finding weird stuff to put in the cart so far. Let's see what else. Okay, let's look in the metals here. What does that say? It says something. Mm. Pewter. I want to say I see Poland. I swear that says Poland. It's just kind of a simple piece. Oh, it's pretty messed up at the top. Hmm. Little vegetable canister made in Portugal. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not like fantastic though. Another day. I might have picked that up. But I am looking for something a little different on this shopping trip. Another teapot with poppies. It says poppies on it. It's that really high glaze, easily chipped ceramic that I don't really like to deal with. All right, nothing in the metals except maybe some pine cones. I do like, I do like the pine cone candle holders. There's two. I wish there was three different sizes, but there's two different sizes. <gasps> Ooh, don't like that made in China on there. But they're not bad. They would be half price, so they'd be two dollars each. You know what? I think I'm gonna grab those. All right, coffee mugs. Oh, there's a cute little stacking. Make sure they're Gibson. Mm -hmm. There's a no drama llama. Let's see. It's kind of a nice Starbucks. 2021. It's not even old at all. Oh, here's a little stoneware like an Odagiri Kentucky mug. Oh yeah. Wouldn't be a Goodwill without that stuff in it right now. Hmm. The dudes. Ooh, look at the purple on those glasses. My goodness. Oh, then they've got like a metallic on the inside. Never mind. That's why they're so purple. These are fun. Aunt Jenny's plum jelly. Aunt Jenny's peach jelly. There's two peach and a plum. Senior hogs. I don't know how old these are. Oh wait. It says 1980 TKC on them. Those are sure fun. Let's see how much they are. $1.99. Do I like them $1.99 worth? Mm, I wish there was one more plum to make a complete set of four. I think I'm going to leave them. I would have bought them had there been a complete set. The stems on those are interesting. I think that was done after the fact. Somebody painted the stems black. Is that like a thing now to paint the wine glasses? What have we got here? Cypress. And these are like apple ribbons and orange ribbons. Those are just kind of cool. 
I like the look of those. I'm not very talkative today, am I? just realized I was kind of just walking along here in silence. I think some people would prefer that. Based on comments I get, look at these ruby red dishes here. It's kind of a nice little set. Now that's a saucer, so we're missing a cup that would have gone on there. Just three plates. Yeah, I don't need that today. <laughs> little trivet. Love never lets go. It's kind of sweet. It's a hallmark. What is this? 36 horses. Oh, puzzle that's probably not all there. This brings us right over to their art section, right on an end cap over here. <laughs> I have bought some good art from this store. I like art. I do. I like art a lot. And we sell a lot of art in the store, which makes me really happy because then that means I can buy more art. So if you've come in and bought a piece of art from the Good Stuff Thrift Store, thank you. I will keep bringing in more art. I can just see the frames are all newer. That's why I'm not even digging behind there. Wine stopper. Kind of in the kitchen mishmash right now. Another teapot. Hmm, let's see. Lots of newer contemporary stuff. You can kind of tell from the glazes, from a distance. Is that an ornament? It is an ornament. Hmm. Shelves are not so exciting tonight. That might mean I just have to go to another store. Wouldn't that be a shame? <laughs> that was sarcasm. I am always down for another Goodwill. Quickly going through the pots and pans, and I don't see anything here. Crafty section. I wonder if they're going to bring out any more stuff tonight. That could save this trip. Hmm. I'm feeling like I can't end the day on this note, but I might, I might just have to go to another Goodwill unless I find something really good here still. I'm seeing a lot of these like 1980s oak lamps showing up and they do sell, again, it's one of those long tail items, so I'm not picking them up. And they're really hard to ship. Other reason I'm not picking them up. All right, I'm going to quickly look through the textiles, especially tablecloths. See if there's anything here. Oh, boy, nothing. Yeah, I think, I think that's my best bet, is I'm a gonna check out of here. I've got a few things, of course, but there is another Goodwill just down the street from here that I think I'm gonna head over to. I am gonna go peek over here at the toys real quick just to see if there's anything. And then we're gonna go do one more Goodwill. Oh, it's not looking promising. Oh, wait. Who are you? Who are you? You were at Disney. Forget what movie you're from. I kind of love you. Does it say what movie it's from? 
does not say what movie it's from. You guys know what movie it's from though, huh? I wonder if he works. Well, you know what? We're going to get him. We're going to put some batteries in him and we're going to find out. All right, I'm going to go check out, but I'm not going to do the recap until the end of the next store. So let's head over to a different Goodwill. Okay, we're trying Goodwill number two. Oh, they opened this one all up. That's new. Used to be another set of doors here, and they have taken them out. All right, let's see what goodies. We have on the shelves in this one. Dolls. Apples. Well, it's kind of a nice little piece of green glass. Wonder what that said under there. Somebody had a sticker. Yeah, I like that for $2.99. Looks like it's going to be my day for finding brutalist sculptures. That one is also very brutalist. Now it says made in China. It's got some rough spots too. Let me explore that a little bit. It's just like the metal has been worn off of it. I don't know if that could be patched up. I still think he's cool for what I say. Oh, he's 10. I thought he was $5.99. Mm, I don't know if he's worth 10 bucks to me. I don't know if he is. We'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. It's party light. I remember selling that set back in the 90s. It's a cool little piece. I like it. Oh, but I really, really like these donkeys. And the old horse, he's $2.99. Uh, his neck has been glued back on. Darn it. How about you? Has your neck been glued back on? It has not. Good. He's in good shape. Donkey, $2.99. And a cool green fish. Who makes you? Evum? 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 I'm really bummed about that donkey, gotta tell ya. Oh, let's see, is that tin? I did not expect that to be tin. That's one of those day, dayer, 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 I don't know, how do you say it? Is the H silent or is the H spoken? Got another food dog, this is a newer food dog. Yeah, he comes from Target, he's a Target food dog. I'm actually gonna leave him. All right, nothing on the metals. Oh, little gnomey guy. For 99 cents, I can't pass up a gnome for 99 cents. Let's see. Oh, a topiary bunny. I love topiary bunnies too. He's $1.99, grabbing him. Interesting little angel figurine she's marked something on there i cannot read that she's not super high quality or anything like that right. i think if i would have come here first i would have had to have gone to the other store also just a little bit sparse i know it's another gnome he's like a trolley gnome He's pretty funny, and he's wearing an owl hat. He's $1.99, and I'm going to get him, too. Let's look for something in the glass. That has a neat look. Oh, it's super heavy. I bet it's a Mikasa. $4.99. I'm looking for a mark. I'm looking to see if it's signed. It has some quality to it, but it also has a little chip on the rim. I would have picked that up. Had that not been chipped on the rim, I would have picked that piece up. Some grapes. 
nice little blue vase that has an interesting little extra design to it. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Down here, there is a blue bottle, but it is stained on. See, the blue is peeling away. I would have picked it up had it actually been blue glass. And these are recycled glass, and those are huge. Nothing I want to ship. Take a quick peek in the plastics. And I see nothing, but I do see a new card of stuff. Let's see if anything good just came out. This is a Colorado mug. Candle. Lots of housewares in this cart. I don't see anything that we need. Nope. Oh, let's see if the wood section has anything exciting. It's been pretty good to me today. Oh, I see a dragon. Not priced. It's pretty cool. $5.99. He's a newer piece, but dragons are super collectible, so I'm going to grab him. And then I see this little jewelry box with pressed flowers on the top. I love pressed flowers. Look at that. Oh, and the music still plays. What do you play? You play... It doesn't say. I'm sure it was on there at one point. $4.99? Yes, we're gonna get that. And look at this little butt basket. That's what we call these. It's a little egg basket, but made in Haiti. Oh, that's really sweet. It is half price. It's only $2. I'm grabbing it. Saw a little color peeking out over here. Nice little Cabo wood box. This is a United States map made out of faux wood. That is not real. It, if that was real wood, I would have gotten it, but it is just resin. All right, I see an ironwood quail. Now, unfortunately, his little head feather there is broken and at $7.99, just not enough there for me to pick him up. Hopefully somebody will rescue him. I think they will. Quails are pretty popular. Let's look in the glassware. These are nice. There's a pair of them. Very mid-century. They're only 99 cents each. I'm going to grab those. Now the dilemma is I see more of these silver rimmed glasses. I think I would pick up the roly polies if they had them. Not so much, oh, wait, what are these? Not so much these other ones. I mean, these are probably Dorothy Thor. I see one roly-poly, just one. Oh, but that creamer is pretty awesome. It's $3.99 for those three pieces. Nope, that's three creamers. Hmm, what to do, what to do. All right, I'm going to get the creamers. And then I did spot some other tumblers. Oh, goodness gracious. 69 cents each. These are $3.99 for a set of four. I'm just, uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'll save those for somebody else. James Earl Frazier and some Norman Rockwell and oh yeah every single Goodwill store has them oh lordy I just turned around <laughs> yeah this is why I'm not picking any of it up as I'm just not because there is too much of it out there What's that say? Syrup hand-painted vintage gravy boat was $8 at someone's antique mall booth. 
It doesn't feel that old. Fork knife spoon. I do not think this is Raydon. I think this is the knockoff version. Even if it was Raydon, I probably would not pick that up. It would be too big and bulky for the price that it would command over on eBay. Okay. I can't bear to see you separated from your friends. You get back up here. Ah, nothing really grabbing me on these shelves today. Small appliances galore galore. And a lid, but this is not the same quality of lid that I picked up the other day. It's a nice vintage pot. I don't know who makes it, but it's got quite a bit of wear to it. Okay. Office supplies. We don't need any of that right now. We got an amazing donation of envelopes, which is something that we really, really needed. It's crazy how that happens. Just when you're needing something, in comes the perfect donation. See, they brought out these baskets too, but these are already emptied out and on the shelves. So just got to look and find the stuff now. I'm not seeing anything exciting. Snack and sip, Boots and Barkley. All right, let's peek through the furniture. Not that I have room to get anything. But if there was something spectacular, I'd figure it out. Like, I kind of like this, but I don't know what I'd put in it. Because we don't really have a lot of, like, greeting cards. But look at that. That would hold a lot of stuff. Cool, cool. Another lamp and some cool little cars. Let's see if there's any irresistible lamps. And I am not seeing any. Nope. Nothing here today. Quick look through the pillows. They've got lots of them, but just really common ordinary pillows, nothing that really stands out. I do spot a Build-A-Bear, how to build a dragon, how to train your dragon. I'll get my movie straight, but he is in rough, rough, rough shape. I've done well with him before. Are you a Squish? What are you? You are a Squishmallow. $5.99 though. See, they've figured out what they are and they're pricing them up. This is one of the those ugly, ugly dolls. I think they call them. The price on those have gone down quite a bit too. Oh, nothing here. Okay, our last section is the art. Is the art gonna save it all? Are we gonna find a Picasso in here? Are we gonna find a Dolly or a Chagall? No, I pretty much don't set my expectations there. I like to find little hidden secrets like what is this let's see what she is it's a poster it's in a poster board that's kind of fun our boots chamont jouets i don't know how old it is because it's in this newer poster board and they do want 12.99 so i think i'm gonna leave it See if there's anything else hiding. Interesting, but not interesting enough. Oh yes, they do have their little end cap baggies. We'll take a quick peek through, just in case there's something good. Nothing. I did just spot this guy laying in here. He wasn't there before, or was he? Was he there before and I just missed him? He's Pottery du Jabron, province made in France. He is in good shape. He is a Majolica. 
I will pick him up for $2. All right, I think that's going to do it. Stay tuned for the recap of both the first store I went to and this store's goodies. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. first time shopping the Goodwills on a weekend in a very long time. I don't normally shop on the weekends because I'm not really a crowd lover and so it's, this has been an interesting experiment. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing the weekend shopping anymore. I don't think so. I think I will stick to um, estate sales and yard sales and things that are specifically only available on the weekends for the weekends. I think that is the lesson I learned here. But I did get some cute things. Not very high-end things, but uh, hey, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I didn't lose. No, no, that's not the right saying. I didn't lose. I just didn't super win. Yeah, yeah, let's stick with that. All right, until the next one, you go be profitable and make it fun. Yeah.